With the check of your ag weather, I'm Paul Perkins. A prolonged period of warmer than normal temperatures and dry weather continues through Saturday as a rich of high pressure builds up from the desert southwest onto the plains. After highs this afternoon in the upper 70s to the mid-80s, weakening low pressure over western Iowa. Drops are highs in Nebraska, back to more seasonal levels in the mid-70s to the low 80s for tomorrow and Wednesday, while Kansas stays in the low to mid-80s. Thursday through Saturday, the warmest days when the high-pressure ridge over the plains links up with the ridge of high pressure over Hudson Bay. Highs in the 80s to the low 90s expected to fall short of record levels. Overnight lows in the mid to upper 60s, though, are in line with warm low temperature records, especially over the weekend. Temperatures stay mild with southerly winds that remain elevated all weekend, including during the overnight. With low pressure approaching, a few showers are possible for Saturday night through Sunday. Widespread highs in the mid to upper 80s continue for Sunday before a slightly cooler and possibly unsettled trend early next week. Any cooling is very slight in the long-term forecast. Warmer than normal temperatures are likely for Nebraska and Kansas this weekend through the first eight days of October, especially for this weekend through early next week. Nebraska and Kansas rainfall this weekend through October 8th indicated to be above normal. Key weather factors impacting the markets include heavy rain in the western Corn Belt, warm temperatures for the U.S., and the wet season in central Brazil starting on time. Western areas of the Midwest over the weekend saw thunderstorms that were heavy in a lot of areas, helping somewhat with the drought and limiting the fall of water levels on rivers. Rain currently affecting the upper Great Lakes slowly moves to the southeast, reaching the Ohio Valley around midweek. With how dry soils have been, any delays in the Midwest harvest are likely to be short. The nation's midsection receives little if any precipitation during the mid to late week, while temperatures reach 90 or higher throughout the southern half of the plains. On the plains, drier weather most of this week offers better conditions for harvest and wheat planting. Disorganized tropical moisture is focused across the lower southeast U.S., with daily rain expected in Florida and the nearby areas. Five-day rainfall should reach about 2 to 6 inches or more across Florida's peninsula. Central Brazil later this week expects areas of rain that should mean the wet season is starting on time. Brazil's planting conditions are very good outside of Rio Grande do Sul, which has had some flooding. Northern Argentina's rain over the weekend continues early this week. Southern Argentina had little rain this weekend, but a little more is expected this early week. Drier weather later this week into next should promote planting in Argentina, but soils are still in need of moisture coming off of last year's historic drought. The current El Nino pattern favors Argentina with better rainfall for the upcoming crop year. With the check of your ag weather, I'm Paul Perkins.